Okay, so today we are going to order our first send cut send part. This is a service I've seen a lot about on YouTube and today we're gonna to try it. So what we're looking to do today is this is a leg assembly for a workbench I'm building. And what we need is we need these leveling plates at the bottom of the leg assembly. We need these laser cut. I've left a bevel edge here so I can get a good weld penetration and this hole is oversized so I can weld a nut on the inside of this leg and we can use it as an adjustable foot. If I switch to my assembly, you'll see that there's a jam nut here to help us level it, but there's also a nut welded on the inside and this will be the bench we're building. So first things we're gonna do, we're gonna open up Send, Cut, Send, and we're going to log in. I've gone through and I've pre-made an account already. So this is a similar uh, home screen is what you should get. Next, I'm just gonna drag that over and I'm going to open up the file I want to cut, which is right here, it's three inch leveling plate. That's just how I've labeled things. Um, this is my workbench assembly. So I'm gonna drag that into Send, Cut, Send and you can see it's starting to process that file. So now that that file's imported in, we'll look at it, it looks like what we want close that up and we're going to click add to cart. Now all this is going to be steel so we'll go down and we'll select uh, A36, just regular mild steel and I either want 3 16 or quarter inch. You can see over here it gives you the multi-unit pricing. I'm going to do 12 so let's see just look in here and this quarter inch is actually seemingly a better value. Let's let's type in 12 here and we'll see what that spits out. So 12 at a quarter inch is 38.76. And if we do 12 at 3.16, so we're looking at 38.28. So for a few extra pennies, we're gonna go with quarter inch plate. That'll just make it a lot more rigid down there. So we'll punch in 12 again. Um, this will actually give me four extra, but I like having this kind of stuff on hand. So. You can see there's all different materials we could choose from up to half inch thickness, but that looks good. We're gonna go next. This is a 3D view, but we don't have any of these operations. If we were to have bending, countersinking, hardware insertion, um, or tapping to this hole, we could do that here, um, but we don't. This is just an easy, straightforward laser cut part. We're gonna go next. Um, we don't want any tumbling and we don't want any finishing powder coating. None of that is necessary for this part. Estimated ship date is saying it's February 12th today, so estimated ship date is three days away. We're gonna add to cart and view cart. Great, so that one's in. And then I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna add a few more things to this. There's gonna be a few miscellaneous uh, pieces and a few more for this workbench, um, but I'll go through and I will do that now. The next thing I want is if I close out of this drawing, we'll save that. And we'll save this. If I open up my main assembly here, let's see, I haven't labeled this very clearly. That's something I do as I say, not as I do, but we're gonna browse our recent documents. This is the assembly for the garage that's gonna be propagating here. And this is what I'm building. I'm building this tandem dual miter saw. We've got a metal miter saw and we have a, you know, a woodworking metal saw. I've got this dual miter saw steel bench for my garage. It's gonna be my buy once, cry once project. I'll just wait for this to generate a few previews. And there we go. So this is the bench we were just looking at. We're gonna have leveling feet on each one of these benches. This one's obviously longer, but other than that, they're built identically. And then between them, we're gonna have these cross braces. And these cross braces are gonna have plates welded onto them open up this file for you. They're gonna have plates welded on and this will allow us to bolt the cross brace piece into some threaded inserts into these steel tubing legs. So let's open this up one more time. Sorry for all the clicking back and forth. And this is what another part we want laser cut. I've added some design work here. We basically have oversized holes so we can adjust the uh, workbench up and down a little bit, about a 16th either way, um, and we'll just use some big fender washers on there. And then once again, I've cut the plate 
a little bit smaller to the inside diameter of the tube so we can cap that tube off. So to import this into some cut sign, what we first need to do is we need to save this face as a DXF. So I'm gonna label it, um, let's label it two inch tube. So I'm gonna go two inch, this is just my naming thing to help me remember what these files all are. I'm gonna go two inch tube, end cap, EC, adjustable, ADJ, plate. You can name it whatever you want, but you know, in my mind, when I look through all the files, maybe I will recognize that, maybe I won't. So, click faces, because if we exported any other way, it would give us three-dimensional faces, um, and we don't want that, we just want a two-dimensional face. So, we'll export that, it gives us that file, save it, and now we will go back to, I'm running parallels on my Mac, so I'm running, I have a Mac computer, but I run Windows hardware on a separate hard drive. That's that's a whole different animal. We're not going to get into that um, today. So we'll go to Finder. We'll look for that part we just made, two inch tube. We'll drag that in. Let it process. And away we go. Yep, we want inches. We'll set that as our default because default, that's what we are always modeling in. We're gonna go metals again, steel, 316. So we'll look at the price difference over here again. These we only need four of. So this will probably be a bigger price difference. So four at quarter inches, 27. Four at 316 is 25. Boy, these are kind of expensive little buggers, huh? Let's go to three sixteenths. We're gonna do four of these at three sixteenths. Add this to our order. See, here's where we could do hardware insertion of any kind. Um, there are so many different studs, nuts, standoffs, all that kind of stuff. We don't need any of that. So click out of that. We could tap any of these holes. Once again, don't need any of that. Next, powder coating plating. We could do all sorts of these finish options. Once again, don't need that. And we will add these four parts to our cart view cart. So you can see this does start to add up fairly quickly, but for the service you're getting and the turnaround times, it just kind of is the name of the game. If you want to be in this custom world, um, you know, you kind of got to pay the price, pay the price to be in it. Um, and I think this is actually, this is super reasonable. If you were to find somebody local that could do this, um, you know, you, you'd be right in this realm. Plus you'd be making trips back and forth and sending email upon email upon email, trying to get the best pricing. So I, I do feel like this is a good service, um, but we'll see what it all looks like once the parts come in. So I'm gonna order this stuff up. You don't need to see where I live, um, but I'll order this stuff up and I'll show you what it looks like when it gets here. parts from Send Cut Send In and I couldn't be happier. This is a company I've seen all over YouTube and uh, I think it's really cool when a company invests back in creators like I'm trying to do here and kind of helps grow, grow the community a little bit. So this is not sponsored, wish it was, but it's not. Maybe a few more likes from you guys down below and we could get there. But this is bought and paid for with my own money. You saw what things cost earlier and I just wanted to give you a quick overview. So I have three different parts burned, made, laser cut, whatever you want to call it, from Send Cut Send out of a couple different materials. One were these, which were pretty intricate little parts. You saw that in the B-roll, but these are pretty small little holes, and the laser was able to cut those really, really nicely. I'm really happy with these parts. I actually got an extra, so maybe, maybe they weren't happy with the quality one and sent an extra. I'm not sure what happened there. And the next ones are these feet that are gonna go on the bottom of our table legs. These burned really nice too, really simple part. And the last one here, I'm gonna fumble with a little bit, but the last one is a P3 
piece of aluminum that I had bent 90 degrees that's gonna help me organize some of my car washing stuff. I'm really trying to get this garage clean, organized, so anybody can walk in here and kind of see where things are at. And it also just helps my peace of mind. So bear with me while I fumble through this, but I'll show you the last piece here. Da, 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 da. So this is the last piece. It's just a simple piece of aluminum with a 90 degree bend on it, but it holds the wands for my pressure washer. It also holds this four tip sprayer, and then it also holds the extensions for that sprayer. This sprayer is used for cleaning underneath vehicles, but yeah, that's gonna bolt up to my car washing station back here. And like I said, I just wanted to kind of share with you my first experience with Sun Cut Sand. These parts took a little longer than expected. I think it was this aluminum in the bend that took them longer. Originally, when I just had the steel parts on, they were saying it was gonna ship in a couple of days. With this aluminum part, it took a little over a week. So just kind of know that, depending on how many different materials and how many processes you're using with them, lead times could vary a little bit. For the steel stuff, for just simple laser cutting, really quick. You start getting into bending, anodizing, powder coating, obviously it's gonna take a little longer, and I did find that to be true. So keep that in mind, but other than that, like I said, couldn't be happier.